Hey everybody, welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is the tropics. We have Tropical Storm Fiona approaching the Lesser Antilles as of right now and it is forecasted to make some major impacts to areas like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, potentially the Bahamas and it might get close to Florida. So this is going to be a system to watch for very closely over the next several days. I'm going to give you the latest track, the details on what you need to know about this system as it continues to march out to the west. Let's hop right in into it beginning with our system on infrared imagery as of right now you can see there is a lot of storm convection as of right now with this system now the one interesting thing about this is you may have seen on twitter yesterday if you're on twitter you may have seen the circulation is actually out to the west of that convection and you can see the circulation on the mid-level clouds there that is because there is a lot of wind shear right now with this system but it's fighting it fairly well right now i mean it's still maintaining tropical storm levels right now as it continues to move off to the west the winds have peaked around 60 to 65 miles per hour so we are definitely still seeing a very impressive system as of right now let's take a look at the intensity guide over the next several days give you an idea of what this might become now regardless of it becoming a category one two three whatever hurricane it's going to bring extreme flooding to some areas i'm going to get to that here in just a moment here's a look at the computer models though most of them are keeping it around a tropical storm through the next three days now beyond the three-day outlook a lot of interesting things could happen we could very well see this be could be consistently a tropical storm if it continues to move off to the west maybe even towards like areas like the gulf of mexico or even potentially closer to florida now if it goes a bit further off to the north and it starts to turn off to sea it will likely become a category one two or maybe even a category three hurricane as it moves off toward maybe areas like bermuda so that's gonna be something to watch for very closely here's a look at the overall track that the computer models have been giving it now i want to mention this real quick they have been really all over the place recently i mean yesterday night the year European model showed it was going to make a direct impact to Florida. Now today it's showing it's slightly off to the east of Florida. And it's it's really a big difference when you think about it. But as of right now, since there's just so much shear, it's hard to tell where the system will go. But the area of circulation is currently centered just off to the east of the Lesser Antilles. Most computer models bring this very slowly along areas like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and areas like Haiti, and eventually going through the Bahamas. And then eventually from there, there's a lot of uncertainty. It very well could go off to the west. It could interact with Mount mountainous region that could completely rip this storm apart or it could very well just go off to the north here and go out to sea and go towards areas like Bermuda so again a lot of uncertainty as of right now we will again keep you updated with the latest on everything that you need to know here on our YouTube channel here's a look at the ongoing area of where again computer models are bringing it these are the ensembles and you can see again a wide variety but where they will go I mean if it goes off to the north in this direction it has a lot less land to interact with and it also has a lot less shear and as well as lesser drive air that will be able to help create the storm to be able to strengthen it even more but if it goes off to the west which you can see a couple of computer models bring it towards the gulf of mexico it will struggle more initially and obviously it would rapidly strengthen most likely in the gulf if it went that far west which i'm not forecasting by any means at this given time but definitely gonna be something to watch for very closely here's the latest national hurricane center's track on this storm and you can see that as of right now it is again a tropical storm sustained winds at 50 miles per hour so it is a little bit weaker than yesterday again that's a lot to do with the shear and as well as the drier air in this area but there are tropical storm warnings and watches in effect for the lesser Antilles all the way back through Puerto Rico Puerto Rico does have a tropical storm watch ongoing so an area to watch for very closely and obviously from there again a lot of uncertainty we very well have a large cone of uncertainty as of right now which basically means the eye of the storm could go anywhere in these areas anywhere as far west as maybe Cuba and maybe as far east as just going out to sea so again a lot of uncertainty again we'll keep you updated with the latest and everything that you need to know with this system over the next several days a quick look at the entire Atlantic Ocean before we get into that flooding potential you can see there's actually two new systems that are ongoing and potential developments they're very low chances 10 to 20 percent there's one just off the east coast it has about a 10 percent chance of developing uh, over the next 48 hours another one that has about a 20 percent chance over the next five days and that will be moving off to the north none of these are forecasted to impact the United States here's a look at the next several days with the European model and where this is actually going to be brought you can see how the European model really stationaries this storm storm over to the Dominican Republic that would be catastrophic and potentially could bring a lot of flooding rain eventually going into Wednesday to Thursday it still slowly moves off to the north you can begin to see the European mall strengthens this into potentially a at least category one or two hurricane if not maybe even a major hurricane but obviously 
obviously from here we're about 200 hours out we still don't have a defined area of circulation with all the shear that we're seeing right now there is still a lot of uncertainty on what could happen even beyond the next 100 hours so we're gonna have to watch this pretty closely but you can just clearly see this is very close for comfort if you're in florida so we're gonna have to watch this closely again just be watching this you don't have to be scared or anything like that to make sure you're prepared for it just in case something were to happen with that system here's a look at the flooding rains by the way you can see the darker oranges and darker brown colors there back near puerto rico that is representing a significant rainfall amount i mean we're talking about 400 millimeters potentially in these areas which in measurement in inches is near 16 inches of rain so we're going to see potentially some extreme rainfall in this area the gfs model has gone even more extreme in this area bringing it to almost a thousand millimeters which i think is a bit extreme at this point but it's definitely out of the question that we could see catastrophic flooding for areas in puerto rico or maybe even the dominican republic now puerto rico is about a 50 50 chance at this point you're probably going to at least see four to six inches of rain maybe even a little bit more than that uh but depending on where this eye goes i mean again the european mall for example bringing the most significant rainfall into the dominican republic it's going to be close just make sure you're prepared it's definitely going to be a scary sight over the next several days with the potential for flooding here's a look at the severe weather outlook by the way real quick we do have a slight risk back up in nebraska damaging winds large hail isolated tornado threat does exist subscribe and like the video i'm going to keep you updated i might go live tonight so uh watch out for that also going into sunday we have another slight risk of severe weather back in the midwest this would include areas near chicago illinois again this is for the potential for damaging winds large to maybe even a little bit very large hail and also an isolated tornado threat will exist we'll keep you updated with the latest hit the subscribe button down below like the video this forecast is brought to my platinum contracting and all dense repair